Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to Freddy Fish and Luther's Maze Madness. So I'm excited today, we're about to go to World 8. Now World 8 is pretty sweet. Maybe a lot of people thought it was kind of boring, but this is one of my favorite worlds. Let's begin. We better get swimming and collect all those kelp seeds. Welcome to the seaweed jungle. Right off the bat, you can see what this is introducing. We've got these giant yellow sponges here. These are kind of like the boulders from before. We can push them, and they can, we can basically push them, and they can act as barricades for enemies. And if they're right up against the wall, we can also crush them. However, we can't turn and crush them. This also has pot, one of my favorite songs in the entire game. I also love the clams that are uh, able to shoot you. And I just screwed myself out of getting a second worm doodle, but that's okay. If I had pushed the sponge in such a way that it could be a barricade, then I would be able to... Basically, the best thing to do with the sponges is to use them as a barricade to avoid these bubbles that force you in one direction. Well, I've only got one life and no worm doodle, so that's not very good. And another sandwich. I needed that. <laughs> this music is seriously so good. I'm guessing a lot of people thought the music was kind of boring and that this was basically just a rehash of the kelp forest, which is world 2. I disagree. These are decidedly different worlds. The kelp looks very different. The music's very different. The background's different. It's just... This is a very enjoyable world to me. Oh, I wish I could grab you one. Alright, but that's alright. I will be more at peace in this world than I was at the last world. Let's get going! Off on the hunt for some purple sea urchins, I suppose. Yeah, sometimes you get like sponge structures like this. Where, while it's nice because you can keep enemies out, they can also be a bit um, kind of puzzling to get from sometimes. Also, the sponges get knocked around by the water spouts just like you do and the enemies do. So keep that in mind. So yeah, if you save both your purple sea urchins for this room, you can get some much nicer rewards than in the last room! Ouch. Ah, those corners, they can really get you on the corners. But it was worth it for the giant pearl box. I also love how the, there's the giant clam object that has the pearl in it. This world just looks so pretty. I love it. No, Spongehead, I don't love you. <laughs> Alright, the squids are up there. I can just go down here, back to that first room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where it's like, oh, do you want to open the purple searching gate to get one, like, conch shell? It's like, the conch shell's good at all, but I mean... That crap does not want me to get that purple, uh, that kelp seed. Too bad. I got it. This is basically the video that Arch Hardy gush gushes about the music through. 
three levels left in this world. We better get swimming and collect all those kelp seeds. Mm. This is also the last world of the game before it starts getting like sadistically difficult. Maybe not sadistically difficult, but it gets really, really hard starting in the next world. Surgeon. I would like that, please. All sorts of nice prizes. Alright, so the star will give me a worm doodle, the spiral shell will give me a bubble, and then the other, the sand dollar will just give me points. Out of those three, I actually might take the worm doodle because it lasts longer than the bubble does. Sponges also can go through the whirlpools. Alright, sand dollars there. I want spiral shell. Because you can only have one. Come get me, Krabby. Darn it. Not you. Oh yeah, I've got full bubble bath. I forgot about that. This is kind of the world of choice, where it'll be like, oh, do you want to do this, or do you want to do this? That is the last kelp seed, so I'm not grabbing that until I get me my worm doodle. Oh no, I'm not! I'm getting the bubble, I forgot. That's okay. I like bubbles. Actually, if you're looking for points, the sand dollar is definitely the best one to go for. Alright, two levels left. Amazing. I agree, Freddy. This wor whole world is amazing. I'm gonna try to use this as my barricade. Ye I want to basically trap the anglerfish back there. Haha! <laughs> Just like that. I'm gonna leave that kelp seed there. Sponges can be used as pretty interesting barricades. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna use my sponge there. Oh, duh. I had a bubble. I'm such a moron. No, no, no. Bad, Sharky. <laughs> Sometimes it makes the really loud sound, and sometimes it makes a quieter one. I think it makes a loud one when Freddy hits it. Oh, this is a big level. Alright, so I'm gonna need to come in for a that one. Oh! How about that? Well, I guess I'm gonna need... Sponge stays in place, which is cool. So this is actually like a puzzle world. You've got to figure out how to use the sponges in such a way that you can get to the prizes at the end. Hi, um, why are you doing this to me? No. Uh-uh. Alright. Hopefully he doesn't follow me. He didn't. He did. Alright. Boom. There's a really 
very tight window that you can do that, but thanks to the directional buffering that I mentioned earlier, it's not too hard to do. Yes! Alright, I have my purple search. Let's see. Two gates. Well, I mean, they both lead to the same place, right? I'd appreciate that pearl bag. And that last pearl's not worth tangling with the shark. A beautiful world. Ah, I love it. <laughs> Seaweed jungle, you are an amazing world. I will be very sad to leave you. Now, the next world is fine, but just ridiculously tough. And then the world after that is well, it's the last world of the game, so you're gonna have to expect it to be tough. Hey, I'm not wasting a bubble bath bubble on you. Later, doofus. Take a nice shortcut back up to the first room. And grab our kelp seeds. Bada bing bada boom. Alright, level 40. I've been looking forward to this. This is probably the coolest level in the game. At least one of them. All there are only three kelp Let's seeds, and they're all in this first going. room. So if you want it, there are actually five rooms on this level. Six if you include the bonus room. So, you, if you want, you can just make this a super easy level. However, if you want to get all the bonus stuff, you're going to have to do some cool stuff with these sponges. And don't break them. Alright. Trying to figure out what to do. So, I believe this kelp seed that's next to me is the one we're going to... Well, no, it's probably the one near the whirlpool. Alright. I don't have to push that down, basically. That's not good. I grabbed the cup seat by mistake. Excuse me. That's not great. That's not good, alright. I don't want these kelps. Alright, here we go. No! Why didn't it let me do the thing? Oh great, and now Mr. Sponge Doofus is doing this thing. Okay. I'm actually stopping that, and I'm gonna restart that level. I don't know what was going on. It would not let me do the buffering to get past the bubbles with the sponges. It was just crushing them. Alright, well... The other sponge can be back. Okay. Oh, I think... Don't mind. Alright, I think I see it now. I forgot how to do this level, but it's alright. I think I see it now. We gotta use both sponges. <laughs> Maybe I did that wrong. Maybe I did that completely wrong. Perhaps I should have waited longer on the first sponge. This level is really cool, though, because there's so much stuff that's extra after this. Alright. Okay, good. We're doing that. Hmm. 
see, the shark is the one who's stopping these. The shark is the one who is single-handedly stopping these sponges and ruining my life. Why did the sponge not continue? No! Stupid! I'm going to get this. That is not the way I said this for the sponge. Oh, this might work. Okay, you just have to get the shark to cooperate with you. That sucks. This is the next type of sponge. These are a bit more interesting. They only move a little bit at a time when you push them. I kind of appreciate that. This also means there are a bunch of annoying enemies now that we have to deal with. <laughs> this little four corners here, that's how we're going to have to lose the blowfish. Boom. Thank goodness the blowfish is slow. And as you can see, you had that crack up there. That's where the bonus room is. You're gonna, like, need the bubble to get through here. This is definitely the coolest and most creative world. Oh, what? I don't like crabs in real life, and I don't like crabs in this game. I don't even like eating crab. Which people are like, oh, but crab is so good. It's like, no, it's not. What are you talking about? Maybe your taste buds are different than mine, but crab don't taste good to me. Going down here, we got more stuff. We got bubble bath in the middle. Hi, you are getting a little overexcited. Okay, four rooms, five in Actually, maybe only three. Okay, well... Hmm. So this one, it actually forces you to use the power-ups. So, for example, it forces you to use this bubble to get to the center of that last room. Because there's literally no other way past these guys. I mean, you could spam bubble bath, but that's going to deplete your supply real fast. Alright. Crack is open, we're going up. Gotta celebrate someone's birthday. And smoosh everybody in our path. Well, that was definitely worth all the resets. Oh, a firecracker in the bonus room. That is rare. So our bubble wore off just in time. Oh, great. Now we're going to need to use the bubble bath that we found in order to get out of this situation. But yeah, that's a really cool level. I like how there's like a bunch of bonus stuff that you don't need to get, and the level is super, super easy if you want it to be. As well as the puzzle that you need to use to get to the bonus stuff. Using the shark as a blockade for the sponge to stop it in just the right spot. Stroke of genius. No one would ever notice that. Sad that I haven't been able to get the ducks recently, though. Woot! Alright. Now to get out of this mess, we're gonna need to use some bubble bath. Because this level's just filled with these winding corridors, aren't they? Wait, what the heck was that? I definitely shot you.
Not with a gun, but with bubble bath. Alright. Well, then, you can wait until you... No, no, get up here. See, that, that trapped him. Why didn't the other one trap him? Alright, back to the first room. Pick up the free kelp seeds on the level. That is what we call a wrap, and that ends my favorite world, unfortunately. But that's okay, because one of my favorite worlds is up next, and look forward to that next time. Thanks for watching, everybody, and until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.